What up, fam? Happy Friday! It's almost the weekend. The weekend is a time to be alive where you just relax and not have to worry about anything. Uh, Today, I got another special video for you guys. I know I said that for all my videos because all my videos are special videos. And uh, today, I'm going to give you guys five tips that you can do within a 5K to run your next best 5K. Yeah! If you guys have done so already, please consider hitting that <laughs> subscribe button and smashing that like button. Because if you leave this video a like, it tells YouTube algorithm that you like this video and it pushes out more. So thank you guys for tuning in. And give me a follow on social media. Links will be in the description down below. All I really have is Instagram, so check it out at Jason's DC. I should, uh, I should work a monster truck rally. Next, next, next time on Monster Truck Rally. Okay. <laughs> I can't see. It's so bright from my, my camera phone. I got some notes here. Oh, no, not that one. <laughs> Five... 5k race strategy tips that you can do at your next 5k number one was taken from the idea of tim noakes author lore running uh the authors tucker and lambert on execution of a 5k among world class athletes what you do is that the first k you would want to go out at least three to four percent faster than goal race pace per kilometer now i have a calculator link in the description down below check it out it does it in increments of five percent but you can figure out what percentage of what kilometer pace that would be so check that out three to four percent faster first kilometer the middle kilometers you just want to get in the groove and just stay focused and the last 1k to 800 meters you send it on home and you kick but not like a full sprint kick just gradually get faster kind of thing so do that to bring it on home and run your next pr tip number two this isn't really a tip it's more of like knowledge kind of thing or just knowing but if you're in the states and comment down below if i'm wrong but when it comes to USATF certified courses they measure from the tangents on the course so if you're running always take the tangent if it's like a cross-country course or a road race course meaning the hypotenuse of a triangle the shortest point from point a to point b you'll probably run a faster time than if you were to not run from point a to point b that way and they measure three feet from each turn they also add one meter for every 1000 meters for error just so you guys know so make sure you're taking the tangents make sure you're hugging the turns and then uh, if you're on the track well there's not much you can do there because you're gonna run in ovals anyway hug the rail as close as possible but don't step on the inside because you will get decued <laughs> <laughs> number three pick number three my lord if you're going to pass someone make sure you pass them hard because if you pass them hard, uh, especially in the later stages of the race, chances are they won't be able to do what Nick Simmons says. Match your move. It's a psychology thing. It's what David Goggins calls taking souls. <laughs> Holy sh Look at that. I got some bones. So yeah. So when you pass someone, pass them hard. Number four, if you're going to race, it's best to run with a pack than alone because it is shown that perceived exertion or how crappy you feel when you're running a race is actually less than if you were to be running alone compared with a group. So find a group to groove with that runs similar times to you and uh, just hang on to that group for as long as you can. And get spicy. Last but not least, tip number five, mama number five, in your next 5K race, Make sure that you are properly warmed up. Make sure you do not warm up too close or too far. I would say 40 minutes out is a good amount of time. Uh, 10 to 15 minutes is fine of light jogging. Make sure your heart rate is at 60 to 65% from max when you start. Make sure you do a couple strides, about six of them, and uh, do some frog jumps. That raises muscle tension acutely because for 5Ks, it is important to have some pep in your step. If you guys want to have more pep in your step, check out this video, link on the cards. I talk about how to have more pep in your step and not have your legs feel flat when it comes race day because no one likes that. Don't you hate it when you guys' legs feel flat? I can fix that. Watch that video. And that is five tips to run your best next 5K. If you guys liked this video, watch this video next. Give this video a thumbs up, share it to your runner need. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell when I post my next video, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>